Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a quick look at this. So I've 3D printed, well actually I designed and 3D printed a new camera mount for the uh, SEMA X5 series. So I think this will fit most SEMA X5s. This is an X5 HW a hover version. And one of the things, if we take a look at um, inside here, one of the issues that I had in recreating this was the very thin wall around the front of this which locks into the quadcopter. So if I pop this out, if I push this down and move this back, and it slides out, you'll notice that there's a catch here um, on the, on the quadcopter that catches uh, the front of this lip and holds it in place and there's this very thin piece and in designing it you'll notice that it sticks a little bit forward and I had to do that to accommodate uh, to allow this minimal thickness here uh, in the design so it all seems to work actually it slides in there pretty good so it's it slides in locks in so you can see I'm pulling on it, you press the button, it takes a little bit, you got to press the button down and it releases. So it really sticks in there pretty good. Now I've designed it with um, this uh, um, lug on it. Um, and I'll have a couple different versions out on Thingiverse. So if you want to print this out and put it on your X5, you can. What I did is I designed it so um, you could come up with different type of mountings to connect different things whether it's just sort of a lifting hook if you want or to mount another camera um, you could put a different FPV rig on here if you want wire it into the power here so you could do quite a few things with this um, and actually I think that's what I'm going to do in a future video is I'm going to try some different FPV cameras probably mounting it on here now I have tried the run camera on this one I don't have a video I may do one in the in the future it was a little bit too cold and was just a quick test of attaching the run cam and it seemed to be a bit heavy for this now in full disclosure it was about 30 some degrees outside so the, you know the batteries aren't going to be that powerful I did get it up off the ground but I couldn't keep it airborne. Now I have seen other folks on the internet uh, actually fly a run cam on the 5 and so uh, it seems that it can be done. They they use the hover blades. Now this is the hover version so I was thinking you know this should work so but uh, I haven't yet. Maybe if it gets a little bit warmer I'll give it a try. Uh, anyways but uh, this will be up on Thingiverse so if you have an X5 series and you want to change the camera per, or create some other accessory you can go ahead and steal this. I'll also put the um, probably put the uh, Tinkercad link out there because I did design it in Tinkercad and I probably will have a couple different versions out there. A blank version without this lug uh, and that so you can come up with your own designs and if you do hey post to make on think of thing of I'll spit it out here it's early in the morning and, and let me know what you made I'd uh, be interested in remixes and, and some different uses um, because I think this is a little bit of an interesting design for other non even uh, aerial photography type uses um, because one of the things that I, I do I want to experiment with in the future is um, you know potentially drone you know other drone recovery or, or having like maybe a grappling hook or other some other sampling device that we could attach to this and, and actually fly it out you know for example if you needed to get um, water samples from the river having like you know maybe a six foot lanyard or something attached here with with a collection tube at the bottom and you know fly the drone out lower it collect the water sample and return or something like that so hey let me know what you guys think what are some uses for this or what type of stuff would you like to see would you like to see me design something for your SEMA if you would let me know below I've got the uh, 8 and the 5 and so I'd be happy to whip something up and see what it looks like so cheers don't forget like subscribe see you in the next video